TYT Sports are back on full time Devils. Thanks for having us back on. Big game this weekend against Tottenham. Things have to be sorted out. Defensively, I'm going to spend the majority of this tactics clip talking about the defensive issues because it has to be reiterated. Going forward, Manchester United did what I recommended in the last video is getting the ball in behind, splitting uh, Koscielny and Mertesacker, which is how Rooney scored a goal. A great ball in from Di Maria on his more natural side, uh, pushing Young out to the left and getting Di Maria on the ball, who will not be playing this game, as we know, due to suspension. But what I want to talk about is the back four, because at the moment, it's a back four of misfits. It has to be said. Van Gaal is making rash decisions at halftime because he doesn't know who should be playing at that back line. You've got Luke Shaw, very expensive signing, who's been beat one-on-one -on, -one on numerous occasions. You've got Valencia, who's filling in at right back, who doesn't understand the discipline of a fullback. And if you notice, at one moment in the game, Valencia, who I've already replaced in this example with Raphael, is following the ball. All the way over here at one instance, he's not got the discipline. And it's Chris Mullen isn't intelligent enough in that position to understand that there's a huge gap in here and move over swift enough. So Man United are left with this huge gap and what happened? Monreal scored. Chris Mullen was nudged by Monreal on the way in and that still wasn't enough for him to realise that he should cover. So you've got Valencia who's drawn in the middle just because he's not got the discipline to understand what to play and as a fullback, he tries to win the ball in here to Oxley Chamberlain, a really terrible error. It was like a back twirly ballerina twirl that tried to win the ball and it just didn't work. Found its way to Monreal. Smolin wasn't quick enough to get back and before you know it you're punished and the same thing happens again this time it's Valencia who causes another problem because the back line pushes all the way up and I don't know what you guys understand about back, uh, back four I know that coming from the UK when I was played you were always taught to kind of be a little staggered especially if your team's pushing up just to show that if, if there is a mistake someone can cover but Man United are caught so high up that when Arsenal capitalized on that back pass Man United couldn't get back quick enough they don't have that pressure or cover or balance. I think someone needs to be sitting a little deeper and anticipate the defensive errors because they're happening on a regular occasion. It must be an embarrassing thing to say, but at this point in Manchester United's season, you have to anticipate that one of your fellow defenders are going to mess up because they consistently mess up. So they should be dropping a little deeper and have someone like Smolin who, or, or Rojo, if he's the quicker of the two, sit a little bit further back and anticipate that the ball might find its way through and to make a last-ditch tackle. And the last point I'm going to say about defensive issues, which is similar to what's going on. Put Raphael in there and if, the, if one of the fullbacks push up, like Luke Shaw pushes you up, there should be an invisible string attached to these guys and have them drift across so that everyone fills in and that means whoever's playing attacking right mid, Di Maria didn't do it very well, they must tuck in a little bit and provide some, some sort of stability in the middle. It's common defensive tactics. I was taught this when I was six. You need to understand that there can't be big gaps left against good teams. And I think that Tottenham will exploit that unless they understand. So I put Raphael back in at centre-back. Go, go with whoever you feel should be playing, whether it's Rojo and Smolin. Shaw, will he see fit? And my God, play one matter. I hate to be a broken record, but why is Manchester United struggling every time they try to get the ball out of their own half? Because there's no one in here to link up play between uh, the midfield partner and, and Wayne Rooney. Mata is a great player at doing that, and he'll find space in behind Tottenham, who... Are, are, are most vulnerable to conceding goals when you get the ball in behind. If you look at Vertonghen, he made mistakes against Fiorentina. They were lucky not to concede goals against QPR when the ball was lopped into the back. Not just a known wayward pass to Fellaini, but a ball similar to what Di Maria put in for Wayne Rooney. Stick to what seems to be working, tune up the defensive issues, and I think Manchester United can get a win at Old Trafford. We want to know what you guys think. Leave your comments in the section below. Be sure to come over here to TYT Sports and subscribe. Thanks again, lads. Keep up the good work.